Okay, hello you guys and welcome. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize. It took me like forever to do this second part of Table Views tutorial. Uh, I honestly thought I had already done it until a couple of days ago when I realized I hadn't. So, I'm sorry. Let's get our hands on it and hope it helps. So, first first thing we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna open Xcode and we want to open our Table Views project from the last time. So okay, next code. It was table views. So what we had done the last time was build a table with four elements, and it those were John, Paul, George, and Ringo. There you go. So we had John, Paul, George, and Ringo. And what we're going to do today is that uh, to add some functionality to our program so that when the user taps on any of the given cells, an alert shows up and says, you selected and the guy that the user selected. So let's stop our program and let's get our hands on it. First thing we want to do, this is our header file. So first thing we want to do is we want to tell our header file and it has to be able to use a UI table view delegate so that we can implement all the delegate methods. And now I'm holding down the command key and I'm gonna click over UI table view delegate here and it's gonna give me all the methods for the table view delegate. And what we're looking for is somewhere around here. Uh, 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 just give me a sec. Mm called after the user changes the selection. So we got a couple of methods that can be called after the user changes the selection on a table view, which are did select row at index path or did deselect row at index path. So we want to use the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then I'm going to my implementation file and here I'm going to add my pragma mark because I love it. Table view, delegate methods. So here we're gonna put everything that has to happen once the user selects the um, the cell. So first we want, uh, we need a message. So let's build an NS string called message, and this is gonna be an And a string, string with format, and this is going to be, uh, let's say, you selected, and then, comma, and then we need our array, so it's table data, object at index, object at index, index path, dot row. And then we close this one, then we close that one, and we got one more over here that we don't really need. And semicolon. Okay, now next thing we want to do is set up the alert. So it's an UI alert view. Let's call it alert. And this is going to be UI alert view lock. Then init with title. Now the title is going to be alert and the message is going to be message this is the message that we defined up here now the delegate is going to be self because like I said uh, that oh we haven't defined it yet actually this is a good reminder in a storyboard the last time the last tutorial what we did was control click and drag and we defined that the data source was going to be in our view controller. So we're right now we got the same, for, but for the delegate. So the delegate is going to be inside our view controller as well. So let's go back to our view controller. And so that's why I put self here. And the cancel button title is going to be a very simple close. Uh, other button titles we don't want any, so it's going to be nil. Now we can close this and semicolon. 
So the last thing we need to do is just show the alert. So put alert, show, close it. And that's it. So if we, if we run our program now, it should work flawlessly. Let's see if that's true. Okay, so here's our table, and now when the user taps on any given cell, it shows alert, you selected John, or Paul, or Ringo, or George. So, okay, so hope it helps. I'm really sorry for the delay, honestly. Uh, you guys gotta tell me. Uh, just send me a tweet or via Google Plus, like, guy, Luis, you promised you'd do a second part of this tutorial. <laughs> and you haven't and it's been months so I don't know you put some pressure on me I've, I've been answering questions for like a couple of people so if you got any questions uh, about basic basic programming please feel free to ask I'm very very glad to be able to help you guys and well I hope I see, I see you guys soon on the next tutorial thanks bye